How many of you know about Zoe and Riesling? One day, my daughter decided to take her dog to a dog park. I'm going to ask the bride and groom to, I want you to look out there and take a mental picture of everyone that's here. Because as we know, it's a rare occasion when you have so many friends and family that you love in one place, un, you know, under one roof together to celebrate. So even as this day will be a blur in the months and years to come, my hope and prayer that this mental picture of these folks that are here to celebrate you guys today will be clearly etched on your heart as a remembrance of those who are here to show support and encouragement as you commit to a life together. A marriage needs the help of a community of family and friends who will be there to stand by you as a couple during hard times and during happy times. So today, these individual persons, they bring together the gifts and their families to form an incredible union that has been marked by choosing to love the other person, flaws and all, so that your marriage will be an example of what it means to be fully known and truly loved. And then lastly is this, and it comes from the Wisdom Book of Proverbs, and it says this, find a good spouse and you find a good life, and even more, the favor of God. And you certainly have found the good life through the amazing spouse that you have in each other. And I, know, and I know this to be sure, the favor of God is surely on both of your lives. Now that Nick and Andy have given themselves to each other by solemn vows with the joining of hands, it is my joy and opportunity and gift that I get to announce them as husband and wife, the new Mr. and Mrs. Nick Aubrey. You may now kiss the bride. for a wonderful occasion for two fantastic people. Um, I know I couldn't be happier. This has been a pretty fantastic transformation. It's clear to me that, you know, in this union is continued growth. Um, like I see before us two people who are a fantastic pair. I know they'll continue to support each other just as much as they have over how many years, Lauren? Nine, okay. Um, and I just, I only really see happy years ahead. One more story to describe my sister. This is just a really good picture of exactly who she is. I graduated high school early to pursue my dreams of being a college athlete as well, to play soccer. I missed my senior season 
of high school soccer and the team went on to win the state championship. And she knew that I was there for three years and we got so close pretty much every single year. And when she got her ring, she dedicated her ring to me. It's a perfect picture of exactly who she is. And I'm so proud of you and I'm so proud to be your sister. Nick, AKA Moisty Moist. <laughs> the first time I heard about him, it was through Annie's excited chatter about this boy that she met at the dog park. I remember the smitten look on Andy's face as she walked through the door with Nick and their clan of dogs. And most importantly, still to this day, I remember that he and always has been a calming spirit for Andy. And at that point, I knew that he was a keeper. We spent a little time at the Humane Society. And as we're walking through, looking at all the dogs, there was one dog that was scarred and beat up and timid and shaken, sitting at the very back of the cage of the kennel. And Nick stopped. He didn't move, he didn't go anywhere else. We kept going, he stayed. By the time we were getting ready to leave, that dog was up there getting petted and being uh, treated like the dog deserved that he had never got. And that showed me so much empathy and love and care. I thought, damn. If he does that for a dog, what's he gonna do for my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> so I knew then, he's a keeper. And it took us eight years to convince him he was a keeper, but. <laughs> Any type of relationship that starts with, I lost her phone number, has gotta be special to begin with. And we knew that when someone like Andy came in, you know, like that little dog in the back of the kennel that uh, Dave was talking about. Uh, there's going to be something special. Again, I think that it's a combination. They are bringing two things together, and together they are better people. This year you love each other. You love each other more every year together. You guys have blended together so well, and it's only going to get better.